act will be. Uh, we now turn to our personal finance segment. Hemant Trastegi of Wise Invest Advisors joins us. Uh, and we have a slew of uh, people with questions already. Uh, Hemant, uh, the first is, oh, it's actually an SMS uh, from Kamar Agha from Delhi. And uh, he wants to know if insurance uh, can be bought as an investment option or should the two be kept separate? Well, I don't think it's a great idea to actually buy insurance as an investment product because, you know, the basic purpose of buying insurance is to ensure that one has a uh, risk cover and also it's equally important to ensure that one has adequate amount of risk cover uh, because having cover and not having adequate uh, doesn't mean anything. The problem is when we invest in a product which offers both, invariably one will find that maybe the cover is not adequate, second is, you know, the expenses is very expensive in, in terms of uh, cost and the third is the returns are very, very low. Yes, there is one comfort definitely, especially in the traditional uh, insurance product that one gets uh, a short return. But the problem is the returns are so low that for a long-term investor, it becomes practically impossible to beat inflation over the longer term. So I think it makes sense to actually assess one's uh, insurance and investment needs separately. And, and the major advantage of that is when we do invest in two different products, mm. we can actually invest or buy the best product and also get better result uh, as a combination. So that's why I think when it comes to risk cover, one should look at uh, term plan. Term plan because one, it is very uh, cheap as compared to uh, other uh, in uh, insurance products. The second is one can be sure about getting adequate amount of risk cover and also the major advantage is that uh, there is a flexibility in terms of increasing the cover and also reducing when an investor feels that he has now provided enough for the family. Uh, on the other hand, uh, when we talk about investment, investing in options like mutual fund, that actually makes a lot of sense because one, there is a lot of variety which is available. So investor with uh, a very uh, conservative investor or someone who wants a very aggressive uh, can design a portfolio only from the mutual fund. Second thing is they are more transparent, the costs are uh, lower as compared to uh, most of the insurance products. And I think in terms of return, the performance, in terms of flexibility, I think mutual fund definitely score over uh, some of the insurance products. So I think it makes sense to uh, you know, invest separately for insurance and for investment and get better result as compared to buying a product which offers both. All right. Uh, we're trying to get in touch with the other caller. I think we had a caller, uh, Karan Kapoor, but I think we've lost that. So we'll try and connect to that in a bit. But for now, a quick check on the expected European market opening. That should happen in just a couple of seconds now. So currently, the futures are pointing to a negative start. They're down close to about 03 to half four percent Do we have the caller now? Okay, we have Karan Kapoor, who's calling us from Mumbai. Hi, Karan. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Can you tell us your question? Yeah. Uh, I have certain EMIs which I need to pay hmm. due to which I am not able to make investment. Okay. So what do you suggest? Uh, should I uh, re reduce my EMIs and start investing or I should continue with the e repayment of my loans? Okay. Hemant, what's the advice that you would give him? Well, Karan, I think there are only two ways that you can reduce EMI on a housing loan. Basically, one is to prepay uh, a part of the loan as a lump sum uh, through which you can reduce your EMI. The second is you can switch your loan uh, to some other lender who is offering you a lower rate of return uh, interest. But only thing is, uh, you know, if the intention is to prepay a part of the loan, then you must ensure that you have created an emergency reserve because that is what will be required from time to time. And the second is do not ignore your other goals. You, you could have some medium term or long term goals like, uh, you know, if you're married, you may like to provide for your children education or marriage or may start investing for your retirement plan. Uh, so make sure that if you're prepaying as a lump sum that you have provided for all this. And even if you're considering switch to, to some other lender, there are some of the aspects you need to look at. What is the remaining period of the loan for which you need to pay installments? That is very, very important and also consider the charges. But generally speaking, I believe that it makes sense to first try and repay the loan uh, so that, uh, you know, you will have then money for other goals that you want to achieve. But at the same time, do not ignore those goals completely. So uh, you need to really create a balance between what is the priority right now and then take a decision. All right, uh, Heyman, thanks so much for joining us and thanks, Karen, for calling us. Um, for now, it's important to see the European market opening.